Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making a bow wrap. I am using um, a template that I made. You guys can buy these off of Etsy. I'm not sure how much they cost, but I just made these um, from a group in Facebook. A girl had the sizes. So right here, you see me kind of sizing up the bow to make sure it's five inches. Ignore my nails, cause baby, don't judge me, okay? Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna fold it, make sure the top is aligned evenly, and that's what I'm showing you guys, it's even. This is a five inch wrap bow. Um, I use rubber bands. I saw another girl use this method, and they're clear rubber bands, just to make sure you have the bow pinched correctly. So I'm gonna pinch it and scrunch it up five times. Sometimes it takes me a while. Um, so I have it pinched up and it's five little creases and then we're going to put the bow on and I do it double to make sure it's secure but at the same time you can still move it around to get the bow how you like it. Okay so I got the bow together I'm going to use my template and that's for the width of a child's head. This is for a newborn um, so we did size zero to six months. Um, it's bullet fabric with stretches, so it's good. Like, it's fine. Anyway, so right now, um, I didn't cut it because I wasn't sure what length I wanted to do. So you're going to see me take this, pull it tight. You're going to wrap it around and send it under. Around and under. Now I'm going to pull it tight. Hold your bow in place. And now I'm gonna take the center and I bend them in towards each other so the middle part isn't clunky. It's kind of thin. So that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm folding in the fabric because remember we cut this five inches wide. So right now I'm just folding it to maybe an inch wide. And you see close trying to get my attention about this tablet. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap it over, pull it through, and at this point, you're going to take that piece you just pulled through, and it's a little loop at the end, and you're going to pull it through that loop. And that's what I'm doing right here, pulling it through the loop. And you're going to tighten it, and of course, fix your bow how you like it, how your bow stands on this template is how it's going to stand on a child's head so you don't want it laying down you want it standing up and there you have it it's a bow wrap um you're going to see me tighten it a little more to make sure it's you know in perfect place i'm going to get my scissors and we're going to take it off the board because i did not want to mess up and i just cut the piece off at an angle because you want a nice clean cut and you're gonna just tuck it away. Well, I'll put it a little tighter, and then I also pull the band tight, just to make sure everything is in place and nothing comes loose. That's like my worst fear. Um, you can see the white bow. That's a completed bow, also. That's on a laptop, and I literally just did that. I'm having a two-dollar bow sale. Um, in my VIP group this Saturday. You're probably watching this. It's probably past Saturday, but you're welcome to join the group. As I hit milestones, we have sales. Um, so right now, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do another one, and this is a black one because I was doing a set. I don't even know what I did with this set once I was done. Where is it? Anyway, focus, okay. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna do a five inch bow that I already cut out the strip. We're gonna measure the bow to make sure it's five inches and make sure it's evenly laid. If it's not evenly laid, um, when you get ready to, do you know, do your little crimps like I'm doing now, is it one, two, three, four, five? Um, when you get ready to do that, and if it's not even, you can see how it's kind of off. Chloe found the camera. <laughs> oh my god, she's too. She's busy. She's trying to see what I'm doing. She wants to help. Um, so I, at this point, you guys saw where I messed up. So I had to 
do my five scrunches over. Sometimes I can only get four in there, but for sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Especially with five inches. Like, no, you need five. So I doubled that. Got the bow where I wanted it. Make sure the rubber band was in the center. We're going to pull our template back down. Okay, get it together, girl. Come on. Yeah, yeah, and all that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do it again. We're gonna pull it around. Send it through. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to. Oh, put it on the laptop. I probably didn't want y'all to see what group I'm in. I don't like being in groups with people that I know. <laughs> I don't know why. So, where now I am, you know, making it small so we can wrap that loop around the middle and it'll be nice and clean. Did we get that right? Yeah, okay. So, granted, I have a group. Like, I'm comfortable in there, but I just don't like going to other groups with my friends. I don't know. Weird. Anyway. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tuck that under that middle piece. That's what we're doing now. And then we're gonna pull it tight. If you pre-cut your pieces, it shouldn't be that long. I just use like a whole strip. I wanna say 40 inches, which you don't have to do. I have the measurements written down somewhere. Uh, and you see, I pulled the bow tight and I'm gonna pull it tight and stand it up. Pull it tight and stand it up. And, you know, you can get it to where you like it, and then you can stop. I take it off, grab our scissors, and we're going to cut at an angle. Tuck that piece in the back. And there you have it, guys. This is a bow wrap. I did the rubber band method. I was doing, like, my using my thigh, because that's how I found the videos the first time on YouTube. Um, but I think this way it's like 10 times better. And just give you a lineup of the bows. We got Chick-fil-A, black and white, and those dropped last week in my shop. Totally cute, totally easy. See you next time, guys.